I wanted to do this kind of rapid fire review style video for something which I was considering doing myself for quite a while, as you can see it's going to be a pretty brief video, only a few minutes, for a tire art pen. There are a ton of different brands, a ton of different prices that you can pay. I picked up mine on eBay for like £10 for the white one. I've bought another one in yellow for a different car, which I haven't used yet, which is a slightly different brand. So I may do a check-in on that one as well. But for now, I purchased the Tire Pen by Tire Art. And of course, you'll see the visuals of the packaging, so you can try and buy the same thing if you want to. I'd heard that that was the best one to go for, and that some of the others aren't as good. I can't speak to that because, like I said, I haven't tried those. So for now, this is just my verdict on that particular brand. I was planning to have white letter tyres on this particular car, a 66 Ford Galaxy, which I call Bow, and it suits the look already. You know, it didn't have the white letters, as you can see from the earlier portion of the video. I wanted to do a full time lapse of doing it. Unfortunately, the camera died, so that didn't really work out. So you'll see some footage back when I first did it to the car, which was early March, March 3rd. And then you'll see some sunnier day weather later on in the video towards the end, which is around the 25th of May. In fact, it's on the 25th of May. So 83 days later and over two and a half thousand miles of driving. I wanted to give it some time, give it some mileage, various speeds, various driving conditions to really see how it would hold up. I cleaned it a couple of times in that time. I would recommend cleaning it you know, the rest of the tyre as you usually would, but then kind of dab the white letters. I don't know if you can rub them, but I certainly didn't want to try. It takes about like an hour, an hour and a half to get it all right if you want to be more meticulous about it. But in my case, I only had to reapply once, which was on the front left tyre, because I did curb the rubber a little bit much more recently, coming out of a really tight turn onto a, a very old-fashioned street here in the UK. So it scrubbed the tyre a little bit, took some of the white straight off, and of course it was just a, a case of reapplying it. I will say I'm super happy with the result, actually. I think it looks great. You can tell from really, really up close, like if you bend over and fully look up at the tyre, you can see that it has been applied, but from a distance, you'd never guess. Most people wouldn't even assume that it was something like that. And of course, that will mostly come down to what car you do it to. If you do it on like a, a Ford Ka or something, maybe, but something like this, it's the kind of thing you expect to see. That was the whole point of why I wanted to do it, of course. I'm sure some people will find it tacky. You know, they'll say just buy white letter tires. To me, I don't like the price premiums on stuff like white walls and white letter tires just because of the novelty of it. So for me, I was actually super happy with the result. I think it came out really well, two and a half thousand miles, 80 plus days later, and it still looks great. There are some hairline cracks. Again, you could easily go over it again if you wanted to. For me, I found that there was just enough still in the bottle to go over it twice, but that'll be down to you. So ultimately, my verdict is for this particular tire pen from Tire Art specifically, it's an excellent product. They are not paying me to say it, they have no idea who I am, so it's a genuine review, and I'll certainly be using them again if I ever do something like this again. It's an easy recommendation. Fantastic result, and if you're looking for a simpler way of getting that, rather than paying hundreds of pounds per tire, sometimes when you might not even need new tires in the first place, then yeah, it's definitely worth a look. But that's it for this particular review, so of course, as always, thanks for watching.